ArcGIS API for JavaScript allows you to render your data in hundreds of coordinate systems, including this one, the Spillhouse projection, which was recently added to ArcGIS. This projection displays the world's oceans as a single continuous body of water, making it ideal to render oceanic data, such as this point layer, which was derived from Esri's open ecological marine unit data set. This layer contains nearly 85,000 points and hundreds of fields, including attributes such as temperature, salinity, direction, and velocity at numerous levels of depth throughout the ocean. So let's go ahead and explore this data. This layer here may look like a raster image, but in fact, it is the exact same point layer visualizing the salinity attribute on the sea surface. Areas in orange indica indicate areas with higher salinity than others. I've requested all of those fields, amounting to nearly 280 megabytes worth of data, directly into the browser so I can work with it on the client. I've configured this application so as the user hovers their mouse over a point, I execute a query for the salinity attribute at all of the levels of depth throughout the ocean available on the client. Notice how fast this updates. I pass those points to this scatter plot to the left so I can see a depth profile. I get that fast performance because I'm taking advantage of the JavaScript API's very fast client-side query engine. Now let's explore temperature. Notice how quickly that render updated. I also added this vertical slider that allows the user to explore how temperature varies at various levels of depth throughout the ocean. This may appear that I'm updating the color ramp, but that's not the case. With each slider movement, I'm actually updating the column or the attribute for temperature at a particular depth level um, in my data set, all with very smooth, fast performance. So let's take a look at what this looks like in code. I configure the style of my layer using the renderer and particularly the visual variables property. I add a color variable, which is what is controlled by the, which controls the selected variable by the user and the level of depth as indicated by the slider. Each time that slider handle moves, a, a new reference to a different field is updated here and I get an updated visualization. I'm also going to add a rotation variable, which will in, point to the direction for a particular level of depth of the water moving in that particular area. And finally, I'm gonna add a size visual variable where I will size each icon based on how fast the water is moving at a particular point. So smaller sizes indicate slow movement, large sizes, faster movement. Now, because one size does not fit for all scales, I'm gonna use a simple arcade expression to change the sizes of my small icons and my large icons based on the view scale. So as the user zooms in, all of the icons will grow in size, making them easier to spot. So let's go back to the application and explore currents. When I do that, I'm adding those rotation and size variables directly to my renderer, and I immediately see patterns of where movement in the ocean occurs. And as I zoom in, I can now see that the icons grow in size, allowing me to clearly um, observe the direction of movement for the currents. I've also observed, as I move the depth slider, that not only does the temperature and the speed of the current change as I go down in depth, but also the direction reverses in this particular area. And all of these visual variables update simultaneously, even up to 60 frames per second. Let's go ahead and explore the Agolas Current, where the, south, well, the, wa the warm waters of the South Indian Ocean converge with the colder waters of the Southern Ocean. I've added a tool that allows the user to filter data points within a distance of a path that they draw, and I query those points and add them directly to a histogram off to the left. As the user changes the, direct, the distance that they query by, or even the depth, the histogram updates with very fast performance, allowing them to have a smooth experience while exploring this data set. As I've shown you this demonstration, I hope that you're starting to catch on to the vision of how web mapping is evolving. It's no longer only about displaying your data with simple pop-ups. 
Because of the vast performance improvements made in the JavaScript API, you can now build powerful, fast, highly interactive applications for data exploration and client-side analytics, all while bringing more data more efficiently down to the browser than ever before. Thank you.